Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Nauti Heef and I'm about to unwrap my Snoppa M1. As you can see, it's a nice package. Uh, I live in the Netherlands, so I got it sent by Bader Europe from a Bader Planetarium.de in Germany. So, here we go. A lot of stickers here. This is probably the invoice. We can throw that away, of course. Now it's uh, for the, the customs. It says uh, it has lithium ion batteries, not restricted for travel by road or sea. No, it's not far from Germany. And here they come, Bader Planetarium in Mammendorf. Thomas Bader with even his signature. Thank you, Thomas. Here it also says, warning, 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 literally battery, batteries. We've all seen the smartphones exploding. But I think that's something from the past. So here it is, the box of the Snoppa M1 handheld 3 axis motorized smartphone gimbal. Stabilize your shooting professionally. As you can see the box is nicely sealed and completely wrapped. Some instructions on the back. Even with distributor for Europe. Manufacturing Shenzhen Snoppa technology. Distribution company Bader Planetarium from Mammendorf in Germany. So here we go. I'll try to uh, get the plastic off without damaging anything else. Oh, here you can see. There's a little red mark to tear it off here. Aha. You see this? This is nice. This is without. And with your smartphone already in it. I'm getting instructions already. So we now can probably get this off. Ah, see? Small package. A leaflet. With instructions, thanks for purchasing the Snoppa M1 handheld 3-axis smartphone gimbal. In order to get the best performance, please read the manuals carefully before using. And I think this probably says the same in probably Chinese or Mandarin. Normally the gyro sensor is sensitive to the surrounding environment, but may be out of balance due to the per previous transport. You can perform the auto calibration procedure in the Snoppa app. Choose drift calibration or level calibration in the gimbal settings. It has a small instruction to mount the phone. And don't start the gimbal before mounting the phone in red. Snoppa can work with Snoppa app by Bluetooth connection and can also work directly without a Snoppa app connection. It supports iOS 8.0 or later, Android 5.0 or later. So I'll probably be fine with my iPhone 6S. It has a barcode of a QR code to scan to go directly to the Snoppa in the App Store. On the back, some more instructions for use. How to pull out the grip. Make sure the handle is pulled out fully. How to close it. Don't get your hands near the middle to avoid getting pinched. We'll see that. The gimbal will enter standby mode when the tilt alt axis is collapsed to the handle and all motors will stop working. Now we'll see. So, I think it's probably good to save this box for 
transport and placing the gym ball in your locker. And here it is. Snoppa M1 loading cable. I think probably this is uh, extra uh, counterweight. Get it just out. Here's a snopper with uh, stickers with instructions. This will probably be in the instruction manual. One, how to open up this. I'll just wait till I read the instruction. Three, pull out this. So there's probably a two somewhere else. But first, app and instructions. There was a small white envelope on top of the box with some quick start guide packing list and a disclaimer and safety instructions packing list let's see if i have it correctly of course the snoppa m1 the usb cable the metallic counterweight and the manuals so that's done in different languages quick start guide do we even read it? It's electronic, we're better. Thanks for choosing Snoppa M1, you're welcome. Also some instructions, how to install the app. Do I need to charge it first? I think so. How to turn it on and turn it off. So. So here we go, this is the Snoppa M1 and I'm about to get it ready for the first use. It's a, it has some stickers already on place to help you after of course reading the manual. Uh, here's the mount for transporting, it's closed like this. You can open it here and make sure it clicks into place. And it even says here nicely, step 2, mount your phone. So oh, I've got an iPhone and that seems to fit. Step three, twist and pull out. And then make sure it clicks again. This can now freely move, but it does nothing. Then you go here and then open the Snoppa app. It gets an instruction how to mount your phone, as you can see. Nice in the middle, confirm. Um, okay, that works. It does nothing now. It says here, step four, turn on, short press, a green light is flashing. Hold two seconds after mounting phone. But I probably need a Bluetooth connection. Here in the app, top of a Bottom right, there's the Bluetooth icon. I probably need to get Bluetooth on my phone ready first. Snap out. Going back to the Bluetooth icon. It recognizes here the Snoppa. Bluetooth connection. Uh, if I remembered correctly, the pin code for the Bluetooth is three times, four times zero. Yes, Bluetooth connection. The green light is flashing again. And it gives a reminder, Snoppa firmware, new firmware available. Upgrade now. And it's going from version 1.2.4 to version 1.3.1. And it even reminds me it's an important update. So, let's wait. Hundred percent. It took about half a minute. Upgrade ready. Oh, did you see that? And I'm going back. 
back. So, here you have it, the screen. And as you can see, the snopper is already working. It smoothens out my movements. Recording, recording, switch cameras, how to record, gallery, uh, if you want lines, I prefer those grid lines that I get, you know. Type of shooting, it goes from 540, 30 frames per second, and I'll probably I'll mostly use 1080, 60 fr frames per second, although for most use, 30 is also fine. Then, here are the settings. And if I remember correctly from the menu, I have to calibrate it first. But as you can see, it's already working fine. So, standby mode. Here in the app, it also says stabilization and how to calibrate, drift calibration. Get it in horizontal position. Start calibration. Calibration in progress. Don't touch the machine. Did you hear that? Peep peep, calibration ready. Then we also got a level calibration. It has a nice instruction. And if I read correctly, I have to also get this back. Here's a warning. If you give it just a nice touch, but make sure your fingers aren't trapped within here. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four. Step five. It's almost like a game. Step six is a little bit special. You have to close this one. Place it like this. Your fingers crossed, calibration ready. So I think I can use it now. There are some more settings here in Dutch. Follow speed, follow snelheid. It's probably how fast it follows your movement that you're making. That's for the next step. Also in here, Bluetooth, stabilization, firmware info, quick guide. Manual in Dutch again, so they got something in English, something in Dutch. Privacy and security over Snopper is where again we're in Dutch about Snopper. So now for a small demonstration of the Snopper M1 in working. This is the basic setting, the Omnitrack. It follows your movements, it smooths them out. So if I turn to the right, it gradually follows that moving. If I turn up, it also or down left right but if you go a little wonky that means it smooths it out i'll just press play here so you can see now what it does the second setting is the lock what it now does it stays it stays steady in one plane so you can move to the side, follow something direction. I just yeah, plan, or you can even walk around it. How to manage it without something like this? The third mode is lock. What it does, it stays in one vertical position, but you can still turn around. But if you go up or down, it doesn't switch. Um, with this mode you can also have a small direction if you want to film something up. Just hold it like this. 
also use the front of course you can also use the front facing camera so you can make easily selfies smoothing out so this was my unboxing and quick review of the Snap M1